Hello and thank you for taking the time to join the demonstration today. Uh, it's just going to be a short video here that is going to review with you uh, the maintenance capabilities and how to track your fleet in Odoo. So uh, what you're looking at here is just a list of a bunch of modules. What we're uh, going to focus on today is, uh, is fleet management. Of course, if you jump into fleet, you're going to have a list of, you have all of your vehicles here, or you'll have a running list of those vehicles. If we create a new vehicle on the fly, we may have a um, Honda pickup truck, and we can create and edit that new vehicle on the fly. Make is Honda. License plate E554433. Select a driver. Vehicle VIN if we want. It's just a field that I threw in here. Um, you can have here last odometer, next oil change, car value, acquisition date, uh, etc. What we want to do is be able to save this and we want to be able to run maintenance, maintenance uh, requests through here. So what we can do is you can go into the vehicle and you can select a maintenance up here. You'll have a maintenance pipeline for this vehicle, unique to this vehicle. And when I click create, it will automatically pull here who requested, Mitch Bossy, the user, the vehicle, the request date, which is today, and the vehicle VIN will automatically pull as well. And you'll be able to say um, oil change, Honda pickup. You'll be able to see here if there's equipment associated, you can do that. And then of course you can schedule the date. We'll schedule it for the 28th and a time. Maybe we want to schedule it at 12 noon. And let's say it'll be out of commission for two hours and the priority is uh, two stars. Now we save that and it immediately puts this oil change in the pipeline. So you'll be able to manage the pipeline for this vehicle through this lens. If you go to the actual maintenance application, you'll see you'll have a general pipeline. You'll see general maintenance here. You can have different types of maintenance teams, which you can allocate uh, maintenance requests to, which will just have a general, it'll be a pipeline here. This will just be maintenance, general maintenance. And if you select this, it'll show us all the new requests in general maintenance in the uh, corresponding vehicles, such as oil change on the pickup, select it, and you can uh, manage it this way. See the status of that up here. You can also see it in uh, all maintenance requests and lifts, uh, list views. Uh, we can group by, for instance, vehicle VIN, select, and you'll see uh, all maintenance requests grouped by VIN. You can see all maintenance requests grouped by just vehicle. You can see all maintenance requests grouped by really any one of these items here, such as maybe the date, all in April. You can also see here in a pivot table, uh, you can drill in you know, equipment or you can drill in by the same elements here, we can group by vehicle VIN um, and different measures, the duration. So you can start to see how long each vehicle was out of commission um, on the scheduled day for the month of April, two hours total. And maybe we want to see the stage. So these are all still in the new request stage. Now uh, there's also here the calendar view, which shows us on the 28th, there's our Honda uh, oil change for the Honda pickup. You can also see this in a calendar view of a month and you can easily click on that and it'll pull up the information uh, or the page associated to that maintenance request. Now keep in mind that with Odoo Studio, this is a pretty neat tool. Uh, what it does is it allows you to track, um, it allows you to add fields and whatnot. And I'll show you quickly how that looks. Let's say just for instance, we want to relate repairs to maintenance requests or to vehicles. Uh, it's very simple. If we look in fleet here, um, we, I do not believe there's a repair up here yet. There is not, so we can create one. Now what I do is I go to repair orders, which in Odoo is here. I'll just create a new repair for the sake of the demo. And on this repair, I, uh, let's say I want to insert a new field and I want to have it a relational field where I can relate many different vehicles to this repair order. And I'll have it um, vehicle, model of vehicle, search. and it will be information on a vehicle. And confirm, and we're instantly able to relate a vehicle to a repair order. Just like that, it will save. 
And when I go here, I'll see the two, v the two Hondas that we have. Now, what I want to do is have an overview here on the fleet. I want to see all repair orders associated. I can click on Studio again, and I'll add a Smart button up here. And I'll be able to repairs, and I'll be able to relate the repairs to a vehicle at the MRP.repair model, which is where we want to relate this to. And I can confirm it. And just like that, we'll see repairs. Now, what we want to do is let's say we want to, um, we can go here, back to repairs. Same concept as with uh, maintenance requests. We, you know, we can have a vehicle to repair and we'd be able to save it. Oops, I have to change the nature of that field here. Just give me a second. We do not want this to be a required field. I'll have to figure out how to edit that on the back side. But you'll be able to essentially uh, streamline the creation of repair orders through right from your fleet management page. So we can go to pickup truck, we can click on repairs, and we can create, and it'll automatically take us to a repair order. And assuming that we just want to um, make product here, save it. Now when I look here, it will track all repair orders associated to the Honda pickup truck. And you'll see all repairs up here. If you want to change this, you can change the icon to maybe a uh, life ring, change it up there. And just like that, we will be able to, um, yeah, track repair orders as, as it pertains to a particular uh, vehicle. And again, same concept with maintenance. You can link a maintenance ticket to a repair order, which is, uh, is very simple, same concept where what we would do is you'd go back to the repair order, you'd use your Odoo Studio, and you would create here, many to one, we want our maintenance, maintenance requests, link it, close this, and then you'd wanna to go to your maintenance requests. General, click on one, and up here, we'll quickly add the smart button, add it, repairs, and there it is, mrp.repair, and we can uh, confirm it. And just like that, we're able to also drive repair orders directly from a maintenance request by clicking create, and there we are, and it automatically will track the maintenance request, and I can have it automatically track the vehicle as well if I wanted to do that. It'll automatically populate that up here. It's just a matter of uh, some configuration. Great, um, I hope this gives you a general idea. Again, I'm not the technical resource on the team. I'm um, just showing you the real capabilities of this product in, in terms of how customizable it is and, and how we can really change it to fit your workflows and your business requirements as, uh, as you articulate them. So if you have any additional questions or if I didn't review anything that was of interest to you today, please do let me know and I'll be more than happy to, um, to send over another video. Thanks so much for your time and uh, yeah, take care.